Welcome everybody, this is Link. And Sora. And Bogan. We have another weekly update for you. This one is number 80. We have 190 subscribers on YouTube, which is down one from last week. But we're at 6,281 views, which is up 91. Twit, twit, twat, twat. I don't know why I can't speak. Use your words. Twitter. Use your you can words. Do this. Twitter. 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 We're at 1,573 followers, down four from last week. Facebook, we're still at 119 likes from like the day Facebook was created. Twitch, we're at 58 followers, which is no change, but we're at 1,116 views, which is up 11 from last time. Thank you everybody who's come to check us out either on our YouTube or um, on our Twitch. We do appreciate it a lot, and it's it's great to see you guys out there. You guys have a thing. What? Yeah. Oh. Our thing is Smite and Eden Eternal, which we're playing both of, and we're having lots of fun, so yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Just, I can't really stream Smite because it lags me to no end, and then you get shitty matches. Yeah. Yep. So, the videos that came out last week, we had a bunch of cool Xenoblade, a bunch of cool Pokemon, we had a Fallout video come out, that was pretty cool. That was about it. This week we got about the same thing happening. There might be a Minecraft video, but we gotta see how we're doing with that. I'm having trouble finding files and trying to get that to work. What was last week's question, Boogan? Last week's question was... Uh, what do you think, or what are your expectations, thoughts for the killing joke? And let's start with Sora. Who has <laughs> no clue? It has no clue, but with how things go, I'm hoping they do a good job on it. That's all I can say is I want more than Marvel to be doing a good job on their theatrical universe. Boogan, how do you feel? Because I, I think I have the most about this. I think it's going to be awesome, and I'm really excited to see it. Um, I have not been able to see the, like the stuff that they've released about it, but I've heard a lot about it, and I've read a lot about it, so, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm excited for it, because the Killing Joke is... Isn't it, like, the origin story, basically, of the Joker? Yeah, it's one of them. There was... It's one of them. So, there was like, a... I'm really excited to hear that, so... There was another origin story for the Joker that happened prior to it. It's called The Man... Oh, shoot. It's either the man under the Red Hood or the man beneath the Red Hood. I can't remember off the top of my head. That was the original origin story of the Joker, and it's kind of fucked up and weird because you don't actually see the Joker until the end. There's like a stand-in. It's just, it's a, it's a fucked up comic. Anyway, um, this comic, The Killing Joke, is the most widely recognized origin story of the Joker and the most beloved origin story of the Joker as far as I've seen in the comic book fandom. It is a dark, crazy comic. It's it's phenomenal, it's insane, it has some of the most iconic images of the Joker that you'll see. If you remember when um, they were releasing some stuff for Suicide Squad, they had some promo photos of Jared Leto doing like different Joker things and there was one of him with Yeah, the, he's, with do, the he's doing the one like yeah, he, or he's, that he's one doing, he's doing, doing the If you've ever seen a wallet or anything that has like a bunch of ha ha ha's and it's the Joker like this with like his hair everywhere, that's the killing joke. Also the killing joke would be the part where he has like a camera above his eye and he's like kind of creepy looking. Also Jared Leto did a photo of that for promotional purposes. And that's the killing joke. Some of the best, I, I'm, I don't quote me here, I'm pretty sure Alan Moore did the art for Killing Joke, and it is phenomenal. It's some of the best stuff that I've ever seen. And if you read it, this storyline is so gruesome and dark and gritty. It's, it's probably the realest thing that I've actually seen in DC Comics. And... I haven't read a lot of comics, so it's not saying too much there, but it is definitely, oh. <laughs> like, if you guys have any question about this, and you think this is going to be like a kid's animated movie, or you think that this is going to be like one of those movies that you're going to go out and enjoy, and it's going to be 
all the Joker is cool and funny and crazy, you need to read the comic book before you go out because you will, <laughs> your your view will have a 180. It is you will you will be the moms who took their children to see Deadpool on the opening day. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit worried about the Killing Joke animated feature because they had to add a lot of content to it because making the comic book into a movie it, it's not going to be very long. So they had to add some stuff in the in like the the very beginning and they added some um this is this is all what i've heard online obviously because i haven't seen it yet but they added some intro stuff some more um like background info some more uh, dialogue obviously and and i i'm thinking that it's going to be good i'm hoping that it is it has a very good art style and i'm very excited for it but it does have that potential because they're adding in extra content that wasn't in the original comic book it could detract from the original comic i'm i don't think it will and obviously the biggest part about this is it's mark hamill as the joker which he said a while or i think it was after arkham that he said he was never going to do a joker role again because it hurts his voice too much and then they were like hey we're doing a, a killing joke uh animated feature and he pretty much just popped a boner and started spouting off so <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited for it to say the least it's going to be amazing so speaking of comics free comic book day was yesterday and I went to my local comic shop and I got my free comic I'm so excited for it uh, I think it's still out in my car right now so I can't really show you So anyway comment of the week comment of the week goes to Alex Morales I believe I'm saying your name right from um, on the Real Friends video, asking if I had any videos of the Movement set. Movements was the uh, opening act for Real Friends on the five dollar tour. Amazing set. I I bought their CD and I got a poster and I think the poster's downstairs right now. But I like I bought a ton of their merch right away as soon as I got out of there. Unfortunately, I only had a couple Snapchats of them, so it was like ten seconds here and there. I wish I would have got more, but I had to save my battery because I was really trying to get colder quicker from Real Friends, and I was just so excited for that. Ever since they released that that was on the tour and that they were playing that on tour, I was like dying and hoping to hear it live, and I got a good recording of it, so that's what's actually online. So live stream announcements. No idea when we'll have a live stream, but guess what? My school's almost done. This Tuesday is my last day of classes. So, after that, I have a couple exams, and my work didn't schedule me. So, yeah, we will have some sort of live stream, hopefully in the future, especially when we get better computers. But this week, I don't know if we'll have a live stream. Um, I'm going to try to get on, probably play some Smite, see if I can live stream that. Unfortunately, it kind of lags my computer as well right now. So, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll get together and do Minecraft. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Um, by the way, you, Link, you still haven't joined the 1.8 world. The uh, 1.9. Yeah, that's what I mean. And, wait, and Vanilla. <laughs> no, 1.8. It's 1.8. I thought 1.9 just came out. If you do want to check out our live stream and you don't want to wait for us to tweet it or Facebook or, or just randomly guess that we're online and we're online, then go onto your Twitch app on your phone or go to twitch.tv uh, on your browser and follow us. Our link is down below actually, so you can just click on that. If you hit the follow button and then you can either turn on notifications or turn off notifications, whichever you would like. If you turn it on, you'll either get a alert on your phone saying when we're live, otherwise you'll get an email if you do it through the browser direction. So give that a try if you would like, and come talk to us, because we do like to comment back and forth with people while we're streaming, especially during dead time. Social media, speaking of which, check out our Facebook and Twitter. We are posting stuff on there every day. Uh, what's yep, up with I will be posting lots of shit on there. Oh, I'm sorry, what? I interrupted you. It's okay, I interrupted you as well. I was saying, I was, I'm going to post a lot of shit on there. Awesome. So have fun looking at all that crap. Yeah, I'm afraid to invite my friends to like the page. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I post weird shit? What's anyway, up TRS? Let's... Sora, go. Where are you? There you go. Last week, last week or two weeks ago, for whatever this has been put up, uh, I went to go see the Ratchet and Clank movie. 
I thought it was good, but apparently, you know, it's getting a 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, it's getting a shit review. Shit it's review. It's still better. It's still better rating than Batman vs. Superman, which is, <laughs> at a cur- which is at a current 5%. Is that 5%? It was at five percent this morning. I have a I have a tracker on my phone that updates me. Oh my god! To be fair, the fan reviews of of it on Rotten Tomatoes is like fifty percent. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad. It's real bad. And I think the reason for that is it came out same time as Zootopia. It came out after the game, so people no. bought the game. Uh, yeah, it did. The game came out the twelfth, and the movie came out the 29th. <laughs> No, I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. No, to Zootopia. Oh, the, yeah. I saw Zootopia. I, that shit was great. I get an update every every morning on where it's at. It's at a current twenty eight percent, but that's in allocated stuff. Um, what the five percent comes from the critics review. Mm, got it. Because current currently currently, there is ninety people who have rated this thing as fresh, and two hundred and thirty eight reviews. Say that it's rotten. Mm. I think I think that was one. But what I was what I was saying is that were were you saying the uh, Batman vs Superman movie lost appeal because Zootopia came out at the same time? No, oh, I'm right. saying like because right. Ratchet and Clank was released like like Zootopia is still performing amazingly and it's like this is like what it's like ninth box office week. No, Zootopia is stealing from Ratchet and Clank. And the Skype calls cutting out. Zootopia stealing from Ratchet and Clank. Okay, I misunderstood. So go ahead. And Jungle Book. <laughs> but Jungle Book is absolutely fantastic. Oh my god! You see, I love that's Jungle the problem. Book. Ratchet and Clank came out the same time. It was the same market of like family oriented movie, and it came, came out, out after the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Which the game? The yeah. They. The problem with that is the game just uses. It's like a 90 minute cutscene because it's all of the cutscenes from the game just kind of extended. So if you bought the game, you really have no reason to go view it. Because you've seen and, it. And while the Ratchet and Clank PS4 game is like one of the fastest selling games on the PS4 right now, that kind of took away from the market of like, well, who's going to go see the Ratchet and Clank movie? That's the people who bought the game. <laughs> Got it. I mean, it was kind of destined to fail to begin with. It was it was Ratchet and Clank, and as excited as I am and you guys were about it, or definitely sorry, I don't really know about Boogan, but um, it it's still Ratchet and Clank. It doesn't have a cult following in kids. It's not a Disney movie. Yeah. It's not by any like big animation studio that everyone's heard of. It's this small um, movie that it looks animated and it looks cute and everything, but if you don't really like, the only reason I would go see it is because Ratchet and Clank is such a part of me and my childhood. Yeah. If not for that, I would look at it, laugh, and say, oh my god, I can't believe they made a movie of that. What's up with you, Boogan? Um, work. Um, no longer school. For reasons. Um, doing lots of stuff with gaming, and Getting, trying to get stuff together so I can do more stuff. Um, today I found out what the meaning behind Master Yen Sid's name was from Kingdom Hearts. Ah, yes, so, good old Disney. Yep, it's just Disney backwards. Yeah, I had a whole, whole entire dialogue about how I'm working a lot and I don't have school for reasons and I'm trying to do other stuff in my life so that I can do gaming more and stuff like that so yeah cool cool uh, what about you so i actually have had a, a very interesting week so i had two lab practicals in one day i had a couple um, japanese quizzes and stuff and then i had an exam in chemistry and i have an exam in biology next week um then I have my final exams so it's all kind of piling on top of each other which is it, it's real nice oh I, I love how it feels it's, it's fucking wonderful but anyway uh, in in the chaos of all that I went to a concert on Thursday night 
and it was a band called The Front Bottoms, which is kind of like a pop punk band, kind of rock. It's if you've heard of modern baseball, it's kind of like them. They sound very similar. A lot of their songs you could actually think are the other band, and I've accidentally mistaken them for each other before. Um, it's, it was a really cool show. I have a couple videos that I took of, of some of the songs that I'm probably going to be uploading. Unfortunately, I didn't get a full video of any of the songs, so it'll just be like a partial video, but it's still like two minutes of, of each song that I did get, so it'll be kind of cool. Um, otherwise, I've been playing Smite. I'm pretty close to level 26 now. Uh, Bugen should have got a bonus for me hitting level 25. I don't know if you saw that or not recently. Um, but I'm getting up there. I'm, I'm checking, or I've been playing that probably like one match a day. What is the question of the week, Bugen? <laughs> the question of the week is, um, what are your expectations? What are your thoughts, hopes, dreams for the upcoming movie of Doctor Strange? And this is the Marvel Doctor Strange, not the Doctor Strange from yeah. DC. Yeah, not Hugo Strange. Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Okay. All right, so comment below if you have any opinions about that or any opinions about my rants or any opinions about anything at all. Just comment below on any of our videos. Let us know how you feel, and you might be able to be the comment of the week next week. Generally, we only get one comment of the week. If or We only get one comment each week if we get a comment each week so your chances are pretty high of being the comment of the week if you make us laugh they go up even higher so definitely do that if you're interested otherwise do you guys have anything else that you want to talk about today not really master ericus is a square please make sure to give us a like comment on our videos if you would like to subscribe and share with your friends we love you all, and thank you so much for coming out and checking us out today. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. You, you, keep, cutting, you keep cutting out. I can't hear all the full sentences. I hear words. Yep. Sorry. I have high okay. CPU I just... usage right now. Need okay. a new computer. Understands. <laughs> Let's just talk in one zero zero one one zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero one 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 zero one zero one. You beat me to it. You beat me to it, man. I love you. This is like our brains are on the Write same wavelength. Write that down, and I'll convert that to an IP address. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>